Hi everybody, this is Stephanie from Razzle Dazzle Rabbitry and Yarns LLC. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, press the bell, that way you get notified when we release all of our videos. We have our Angora Rabbit Arthur with us today and in today's video, when you watch it all the way through to the end, we'll be able to explain how we feed green bean plants to our rabbits safely and at all ages without any digestive distress. So these are the bunnies. They have a lot of different things in their pens, like usual. Right now, you're gonna see if we open up Arthur's pen. He's tipped over his little hut. He can go in that way. He has a ton of different grass in here, pine cones. He has a pumpkin leaf in there, and it looks like all of the green bean plants that I fed are, are eaten. So let's give Arthur some more. What we're gonna need for this is just a pair of scissors. And if you're gentle with plants, you don't even need a pair of scissors. You can just clip them, just pinch them using your fingers. So our garden is pretty close to the rabbits. We're gonna walk on over and we have right here, these are all green bean plants. Now you can see a few different things you can notice right away on the green bean plants. So this is, these are the buds, the flowers. These will actually turn into green beans. You have these stalks, these stems. You have the leaves, and then if you can find them, here's an example. You have the actual green beans themselves. Now, if we were to pull the entire plant out underneath here, you would find the roots in the ground. So we like to have a little bit of visibility in our green beans, and our green beans, because we use rabbit compost, they get quite quite large quite fast so we do have a stone path you can see underneath but it gets to a point underneath here where there the green bean leaves are now growing over the actual path so those are the leaves that we're gonna trim up now they are it is safe we're gonna set the camera down here it is safe to trim up and feed your rabbits the entire green bean plant including green beans but there's some things to consider. So we snip off a piece and there's three large leaves. Rabbits in the wild will naturally come and eat your green bean plants. They like the, the new fresh growth better. We're just trimming the bottom ones that are on this path right here. I have a sunflower leaf by me. And you can see there's no roots attached to these. This is just the leaves and the stem, just the greens. And there's also no green beans on here. We don't have any green beans on the actual uh, leaves and stems. When you feed your, you can feed your rabbit green beans, but when you feed your rabbit green beans, you always want to be uh, careful. That, that shouldn't be a main component of what you're feeding your rabbits. There should be other things such as uh, grasses and haze and all sorts of other uh, vegetation in there. So we just pick quite a few different sections and we just keep trimming them off. So we have Arthur who's an adult, Mariah Carey who's an adult, and then five baby bunnies. So what we're gonna do is we have two big stems and a little one. We can feed that to Arthur. For Mariah Carey and her two babies in the same pen, we have three regular size stems. And then for the other three, we need to cut one more because we'll also put three of these bunches of leaves to feed the rabbits. So anything that's really sticking out and covering the path, that's what I'm trimming. And we're feeding three at a time. So we're gonna take a walk over. We have our leaves with us. Walk back over to the rabbits. They're freshly cut. We don't have any green beans. And you'll notice on these two, we don't have any uh, blossoms, any blooms on these. You can feed your rabbits the blossoms. You can feed your rabbits the blooms. You can feed your rabbits the baby ones, the baby uh, beans. But we want to actually save the green beans for us to eat. That's why we're not feeding them to the rabbits. And when we're gonna feed them, we're not gonna feed any more than just a small handful. 
So I have three clumps. You can see the size of these. If the leaves are a little yellow, like uh, some are dark green, and then this one has yellow on it, that's okay too. So I have a group of three, and I can easily feed these to my rabbits without distress. Even if I have, um, if, if I've never fed green beans to my rabbits before, there's three rabbits in here, and so this amount of leaf is not going to affect these bunnies. These are about five week old, around five week old, five weeks old uh, baby bunnies. They have had greens before. Now, I wouldn't feed green bean leaves to a rabbit who has never had greens before. That's one of the things I certainly would not do. When I'm feeding greens, it's just much more wise to start with hay. So we have Mariah Carey and her babies in here. There's one in back nibbling away. We have Mariah Carey, she's sitting in front of a fan. And then we have this little lady, she's right away went up to the green beans and she's eating the actual stalk of the green bean. When you're feeding your rabbits a variety of greens, it's very stimulating to them. It's something that they're interested in. Um, there's a variety of flavors, there's a variety of textures. Each of the plants, the different types of plants you can feed a rabbit, such as these green bean leaves and the green bean plants, they have different nutrients than what would be found. For example, we have uh, roses, rose hips, rose petals, rose leaves, we have grass. There's different nutrients in each of these plants. And Mariah Carey is, as you can see, nibbling away. Her little baby is coming on in who would like some too. And you can see they can eat these and crunch these up pretty fast. When you have multiple rabbits in a pen, it's a good idea to just to take a look and see who's eating, you know, is everyone eating? Right now we have everyone eating the greens in this pen, that's great. We're gonna go back to this bunch and we're checking on them. Everyone's eating the greens. This is a, kind of a tough view. Everyone's trying to eat the greens here, the green bean leaves, and that's good. If you just have one rabbit who's the only one eating the greens, then it's just wise to try and entice the others as well. So Arthur, Arthur is pretty relaxed. He's had a lot to eat today. He got a lot of, a lot of fresh grass. But we'll see, this is a, a tender green bean leaf. We'll see if he's interested. Arthur's our biggest in getting two of the bigger plants and the small one. That's not gonna cause any distress because again, he's had these before and we would always start out with hay, then green grass, very um, uh, neutral type plants. And there's no beans in here. Watch out, Arthur. There we go. Ooh. So everyone's eating their leaves right away. That's great. Good signs. And let's go try a bean. So now we're going to go back to the garden. And we'll pick a bean. Rabbits can eat beans again. You don't want to feed a lot of beans to your rabbits because uh, if there's any, any gas that's produced in the digestion, rabbits do not burp. And so the rabbits simply have to deal with that gas and it can be uncomfortable for them. So we have a bean. And let's take a look here. Arthur's back to laying down. Mariah Carey's back to laying down. She has her little ones here. And then these three are still munching. So we'll try. We'll see these guys. We'll open it up. So they've never had a bean before. There's no right or wrong way, like the direction to feed the bean to a rabbit. I'm just simply holding it and feeding it. And one bean like this is not going to cause, this is not going to cause uh, distress, gastrointestinal distress digestive distress, this is not going to uh, at all. Even though these rabbits have never had, they're very curious. 
even though they've never had it before because they've had so many other things and so much of a variety this is not something I'm worried about whoop it fell through pick it back up for you guys so again at most a handful of beans is the maximum I would really feed the rabbits because they do digest things differently and I wouldn't I certainly wouldn't start out just feeding a rabbit green beans but they do enjoy them oh down here down there they lost their green bean the green bean is right here let's pick it back up for you this little buck has marbled blue and brown eyes. The bottom of the eye you can see is blue, and the top of the eye is brown. A Vienna marked fawn. They're used to be <laughs> they're used to being fed greens and being fed by hand. So that's how we feed our rabbits the green bean plants, and how we would feed and how we'd recommend feeding green beans themselves if you wanted to avoid any distress. So everyone's just relaxing here. And one of them, one little rabbit here is hard to find. Right underneath. Hi! <laughs> They're very friendly. They'll come right up to the camera. See you later. So thanks for watching. We'll see you in our next video.